Hey everybody, good morning. Oh, it is, what day is this? Tuesday morning? Yep, I think so. Oh, and I am, just to give you uh, an explanation of uh, what's uh, going down here. How about, uh, well, not about May 2nd, I, I went out and rekeyed this building. I could have swore that I did it on video and posted it as part of a video series, but I could not find it. Um, but anyway, I got, so yesterday afternoon I had a big job uh, at a school and then I got done early. So I went ahead and went out here and it was like drizzly and cold and I was didn't have my jacket with me. Well, I had it in the truck, but I didn't go put it on. But anyway, um, so the first time I went out here in May, it was, uh, it was uh, for a landlord, uh, a tenant left, he didn't keep a key. So I got there, I opened it very, very easily. All the doors, is, there's three doors on the front and two panic bars on the back. And they're arrow locks. So I was like, okay, well, I went out there. I opened it very, very easily. I mean, literally almost fell open when I started picking it. So I pinned it back up and I screwed myself. Normally we don't keep bidding for random jobs like this unless we know we're going back to it. But I assumed that the landlord, after he did not have a key, that time would keep a key. Well, apparently he is one of those that does not keep up with keys. Because now they're like that again. But unfortunately when I repinned it, I repinned it correctly and um, I came out here yesterday and it was like 345 and I only had like really 30 minutes to do it so I was like okay well maybe I can get in there and knock it out real quick and be done with this so I don't have to do it tomorrow well I got out here and I picked on these locks on three different doors for I don't know maybe 30 minutes between all three doors. That includes like walking around the building to go to the other door. So anyway, I am headed back there this morning. I, and needless to say, I didn't get in. After I had picked it for so long and spent so much time trying to get in, I was like, well, damn, I don't have time to actually rekey these locks because the two front doors are double cylinder and they are mortise type locks, which means I've got to get the door, both doors open. I can't just open one door, go in and unlock the other doors and shim the locks. So I'm physically gonna have to have to pick or otherwise bypass two of the doors. The panic bar, of course, I can open from the inside. And I tried to bypass, and they had a mail slot on the door with the panic bar, but and I recall maybe 10 or 15 years ago coming out to this property, and I think I actually covered up that mail slot because they had locked themselves out. Most panic bar people do, or panic bars, you can easily lock yourself out. And I actually think I put the sheet metal, or uh, a push plate on the inside of where the mail slot is so you can't loop through, because I think that's how I got through was looping the panic bar. Now, of course, I could just drill a hole in the push plate and put another one on. But I still got to get the two front doors open that have the double cylinder. Um, it's a mortise deadlock. It's not like a, a handle style. It's simply the dead bolt, but it's a mortise version. And a double cylinder would be kind of like a lorry dead bolt. There ain't no way to get it open unless you open the door. So, and you can't, you know, do a, a cylinder twist with them because you don't want to crack the mortise cases. They're old, old, uh, probably Arrow brand from the 60s, 70s mortise locks. So, short of drilling the cylinders, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go try to pick it again. Now, I've got a different angle here. I'm going to try something with my GoPro. So let's see what happens there. Anyway, we will be there shortly and wish me luck. Hopefully the picking gods are with me better today than they were yesterday.
So I am gonna zen focus for a sec and we will be there shortly. Now y'all know that I don't really focus heavily on the lock picking part of this job, but since I knew this was gonna be a pain in the butt, I went ahead and set up a special wrist cam just for this video. So here we go, Jason picking a couple of doors. All right, let's give this a go, shall we? <laughs> Wrist mounted GoPro. So, I furiously raked it the other day. And did everything that I could come up with. to pick this damn lock. So now let's try a little finesse. Which I did actually try yesterday for a minute, but not nearly enough time because I was running short of time. So while I did key it correctly, I did not replace the springs because there was nothing really wrong with the springs. And they are super weak. Super weak springs on this, uh, this bad boy. Oh, excuse me. I've been meaning to, I've caught myself on a few videos making really loud sniffling noises trying to break all these video bad habits. Like, um. Um, and I, I'm going to lead the charge in trying to single-handedly make people stop saying what not. Please, if you do videos, try to banish the word what not if you'll notice I've been very adamant about that in my videos I've, I've sometimes had an occasion to say it but really when you say the word what not that means that you can't come up with anything else to say so join with me and ban the use of of the word whatnot in your videos. No more whatnot. No more whatnot. Okay, this front pin is just floating. I mean, like, it just went up in there and does not even drop back down. So, it's entirely possible that between May and now somebody else came out here and rekeyed these locks because when we go down to the other door <coughs> there is a key hanging in the door <laughs> obviously it's not the key to the building but i don't know if the landlord came out here trying keys and accidentally left it or what the deal is there maybe somebody found it on the ground and stuck it in the lock this is a good sometimes you kind of lose track of your timing when you're on jobs picking locks and it's like as a locksmith, we've talked about it before. I'm not here to freaking do this. I'm here to get in the building and rekey it. So the more I screw around picking the lock, the less time I have to uh, rekey the building. I'm at 
4 minutes and 37 seconds. I can't get anything. I can get maybe two pins to bind. Front pin. I don't know if you can see it. And I am turning the wrong way to open this door. So I'm going to have to spin it if I'm able to get it picked this way. Which is dangerous because sometimes... the spinning fails and it relocks and that's very bad on locks you have a lot of trouble getting into Let's trade to a sharper hook. <clears throat> and about to go finish my coffee because this is being a pain in the ass. Oh my god, there it is. Ugh, look at you, you bastard. That was weird. My GoPro just made a funny squirreling noise. Alright. low light
This one's got all new springs. <laughs> hard to get to especially with that camera man I should have finished my fucking coffee now I'm committed Breaking my way out the out the building. Very clicky. <laughs> Sorry. Old habits die hard. I'm not used to people listening to me. I guess I'm more used to it now. But normally it's quiet. Hello? Hello? <laughs> if somebody answered back, I would not be happy, not be happy about that. Beep. My life is a series of beep. Like so many vacant properties. Beep. Beep. Smoke detectors. Alright, five minutes in on this one. I wish I was left-handed. Let's, let's come around here. Ooh, there we go. Alright, let's try this way. No feedback that way. These cylinders are certainly one seem to be one directional. Like obviously they can turn both ways, but like when you're tensioning tensioning it, you get a lot better feedback one way than you do the other. Oh, open. 
Jeez. All right. Well, that. Let's see if it'll. Oh my God! I open them both the right way too. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. All right. Well, that was my lock picking thing for the day. And two of them in my teeth. Somebody came along and tried this key. Look at how that key is. It's a laser cut. A laser cut key. I'm going to leave that there. And this is why you have to get it open. Or I have to pick both of them. And this is actually a really funny mortise lock. And there's some old school shit right here. And I'm guessing it's flat head underneath this. Nope. All right, you. Now, also, you have to turn the plug back almost all the way. You don't want to turn it all the way back because then you'll just have to. Ugh. But if you have it upside down or kind of angled, the tailpiece can, or the cam on the back when it's turned, can make it not want to unscrew. Alright, so gotta go grab the panic bar door on the back and put them back on. Should be back here somewhere. There. See what I meant about the. See, I could have just probably drilled a hole through that, but again, I had to. Had to pick it anyway. This is a typical old precision bore. We can see this one only has two screws holding it on. And once you take it off, there's your typical rim cylinder. So I'm going to set this over here. Get it. Without too much trouble. I don't want it to fall. Typically, there is a if you need to take this off, like if you need to leave the door, there is a Allen screw on that bar, and when you loosen it, the bar will slip off right here. That way, you can take this head off um, if you have to walk away from the door for a bit, like if it's an active business. But since this is not an active business, I'm not going to need to do that. Out at our mark on the GoPro to have to turn it off. The other door, the first door I came in, will be just like the door that we did a second ago. Why aren't you coming out? Oh, there we have it. And since it's not an active business to make this hold still, I can just put the screw through a hole and just let it rest. Never do that. 
never ever do that if somebody is in the building. Look a dead TV. I don't know if it's dead, but it looks dead to me. Alright. We'll go ahead and grab these. Same as the other. And give them a good old rekey. And I'm actually going to take it apart and see what I did to myself. Why I made it so hard. Okay, so while you're unscrewing it, it didn't on this one, by the way. But same lock, different cams on the cylinders. So watch out for that because that can trip you up when you're reinstalling. So five rekey. going to be a regular rekey, but I want to see why it was not letting Jason in. Not letting me in. What did I do? Uh, so I think I can use a cork set to show us. Mm, I bet it was that back pin that was tying me up. Oh, you're joshing me, right? I'm not joshing me. I never put them back. Uh, hold on. Found some, or got some out of my other kit. Uh, super weak spring. Super weak spring. Well, that was actually kind of harder. Oh. Uh, well. Shame on me. Is this six pin or five pin? Let's see. I wouldn't have done that. One, two, three, four, five. All five pins. All standard pins. It was just being a booger. You know, sometimes they do. Sometimes they're like that. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'm going to cut it because my GoPro can't handle too much more of this. I'm just going to rekey these to these new keys here. And definitely keep the freaking information for when he does this again needs back in to save me a little bit of time so thanks for watching guys y'all have a good one peace